But I don't know a lot about boxing. I do know Muhammad Ali. He's in culture. I do know the quote, I am the greatest. And I do know that a lot of people would say, 50% hit rate here, that Muhammad Ali is the greatest boxer of time. Even Muhammad Ali, from things I've read, didn't really think he was great. In fact, he first said this all the way back in 1964, when Joe was 30 years old, um, when he was 22 <laughs> years old. Only 22. Wow. Hadn't won a world title. Definitely was not the greatest. But he spoke it into existence. He said it so often that he believed it and people believed it. And it's almost, it's entered the zeitgeist. It's transcended boxing. I know about it. And I could probably name five boxers and one of them would be Frank Bruno. I'm so out of date. But this is, you know, in terms of picking a quote, I think this is one of, you know, this is top 10 all time, I think, of a quote and its its ramifications. But my angle on this is... I suppose it's twofold. One is affirmations. So he was telling himself he's the greatest. He was telling everyone else, but it was also telling himself. It's a whole look in the mirror thing, tell yourself you like yourself type of thing. But he then spoke it into existence because the more he said it, the more people heard it, the more people repeated it, and people started to believe it. And and I'm nicking this, this isn't a quote, but this phrase, I heard pe- someone talking about this, which is what gave me the inspiration to kind of jump this one up my list. I said, it's the same, it's what, it's what politicians do. They, they will keep telling you the same thing over and over and over and over and over again until you believe it, until enough people believe it that it becomes fact. And that's, that's, why, that's why I like that quote. I think it's, it's got so many angles to it and it's, it's such a powerful tool for so many reasons. 